Good morning, good morning. Hi. Back home today. Back in the wilderness. Well, let's have a quick look. Just finished training. Have you uh, have you got plans to do your movement or strength? Or what are you going to do for yourself today that is good for your body, not just your spirit? All right, so I'm just cutting up all these entries. Oh my God, so many ladies, so many, and gents. I had a, I had a, someone invited a gent. So, you know, this is, this is open for people who love astro and want that, you know, this has got that personal development focus. So how can you be the best? So yeah, here's my little reminder. What movement or walking or yoga or Pilates, what are your plans today for yourself? All right, so we currently have the moon at 11 degrees of Sagittarius. Good morning. I can see I have people, but I have no comments. So if you're commenting, um, I can't see them. Uh, okay. Am I? No. Anyway, whatever. Uh, okay. So now today we have the moon sextile, the sun at 5 p.m. Good morning, Kathy. Thank you for letting me know that my chat is working. So moon sextile sun at 5 p.m. So we do have a harmonious energy today between the sun and the moon so emotionally we're going to have a we're going to have a, a day where things seem to work all right so the sun is in libra good morning deb uh sun in libra sextile moon in sag so the moon in sag oh my god loves a bit of an adventure think philosophy higher spirituality it is the legal system as well uh university level education overseas travel uh, adventure just think you know that that excitement ruled by Jupiter Jupiter however is currently stationary at 21 degrees of uh, of Gemini all right so we might have that hyper focus all right because the the Sun is in an air sign good morning Heather how are you so the Sun is in an air sign it's right it's at 15 degrees right now so it's actually at, it's, you know, we, we do that bell curve thing. So the sun's at the top, you know, those biorhythms up and down. I'm going to consider that the Scorpio one is down. So we've gone up into, so Libra is up, Scorpio is down. You know what I mean. All right. So um, there is a square to Saturn. So this is where we might feel like, um, even though we feel good, we might not, get as much done as we think we should or I don't know maybe there's a little bit of a should momentum today good morning Susan how are you so need to see you soon all right uh and then an opposition to Jupiter at 11 a.m so that opposition to Jupiter at 11 might have us thinking we can do more than we could and that square to Saturn at two is the should if that makes sense i hope it does makes sense in my head anyway all right so again coming closer to that sun square mars so this might be the things that give gives us the irrits but sagittarian moon meh whatever whatever it is what it is all right so in the words i wrote if you find a delay holding up something you planned why not consider it a gift from the universe and do something more adventurous and i just have to go let Dougal in one moment sorry sorry dukes <laughs> because life is short are you enjoying every single day that you have? And oh my God, when it comes to Dougal, oh, dude, what do you need? You know, like he is 12 and a half years old and he is, you know what? We're both, we're like Mick and I, obviously we don't have the kids here. We wish we did. So, you know, I'm trying to make his day the best day every day. And the same for myself, you know, like try to do something joyous. Like I opened up with, well, you know, what movement or, or exercise do you have planned for your physical body today? How can you be your best version by doing something? Even if it's, 
um, you know, I'm going to have a salad instead of a toasty. I don't know. That's just what came into my head. All right. Uh, is there something that you can create a good memory for or for you or your loved ones? And don't take your time for granted. It will one day cease to pass. And I know that's a little bit of a, um, a, a downer, but, you know, like, again, there is so much Chiron, Jupiter, you know, there's this, there's very much an awareness of the hurt healing uh, modality. You know what I mean? Like on one side we have hurt and one side we have healing. So, um, you know, that sun opposition to Chiron might bring up memories where we are um, reminiscing or remembering past experiences. And, and, you know, this is why we have to try to enjoy every single day rather than letting that, letting that Chiron opposition be a cloud. Let us be able to see the silver lining in every cloud potentially. So, so yeah, and again, we've got that Jupiter sextile Chiron, you know, that Jupiter being station retrograde while Chiron is retrograde, you know, there's a, this, there's a lot of internal awareness sort of coming up and out of us. Good morning, Dummy. How are you? <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's draw a card. Let's draw a card. Oh, it's just such a magnificent day today. It's so nice to get outside and have some vitamin D. I just stood outside with my face in the sun earlier and it was just like, ah, oh, really nice. Had an awesome training session today. Did some boxing, got my body moving, made me feel so much better than what I woke up like. So now I'm like ready for the day. And... And yes, yeah, Sagittarian Moon, how can you have adventures, feel good? I'm so looking forward to what this, this card, this card right here says. Oh, when you're neither here nor there. Good morning, Jen. Oh, look at this. How bright and vibrant is that one? I love it. Oh, it's like they're, they've got their hands in the collective consciousness stream. All right, it is card number 42, the answer to the universe. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to have to wing it today because I don't know where my glasses are. All right. Uh, the essential meaning, the period of time between what was and what you are moving towards. Not quite there yet. Being present for every step of the journey. Are you feeling a little lost because your goals and intentions feel so far away? You know you cannot live your old life anymore. So with one foot still in the past and one reaching for the future, you discover your an in-between world. This place has flavors of your past, but it's also brightly colored by the glittering dreams for your future. You're just not quite there yet. This is a wondrous place to explore, for this is where you get to reconsider your past, choosing to see it as sacred and beautiful and not something to discard or run away from. There's that not being clouded by Chiron, but seeing the silver lining. If you can bless all that has brought you right here, now you'll see your time between worlds will not be long at all. Yeah, in the limbo. Well, it won't be. It won't be in limbo for long. Is there anything that you can that you need to release in this Venus. Venus hour? There we go. Is there anything that you need to release in this liminal space? Do you need to cut any cords of old thinking? Are there any old stories or unfinished business niggling you? Now is the perfect time to consider an inventory to ensure that you're not bringing any old baggage forward with you on this journey. Most important, you must see how far you have come. You are an, an extraordinary being of light, blessed by the universe and here on purpose. Trust your dreams and desires. They matter and they are in perfect form. 
you will arise, no, sorry, they will arise to greet you on the other side of this in-between where you may sometimes feel you're neither here nor there. Bring yourself to this moment and make effective use of it. Bless your life and you have nothing to lose on this adventure. Oh, look at this. Everybody's like, yay, that's perfect. <laughs> and it is, you know, I mean, I've been saying to you guys for, the, for a while now, I'm like, feeling impatient yet I'm so very aware that you know there is still work to be done in the background so when our time comes for us to launch into this new thing or you know start this new um, path we've got everything ready we've disconnected from our past experiences we're well stocked and resourced within ourselves to know that we can make it down that path so I hope you have an amazing day. I have a reading today at 10.45, so I'm really excited for that. Um, don't forget, I've got all these here to cut out and, and pop into the thing. So if you, if you know someone that would enjoy this show or this, you know, this the, what I give you, then pop your name in in the invite and you can win that $180 one hour reading. So my gratitude to all of you and have a fabulous day. If you need me, I'll be here this afternoon and yay, Saji <laughs> <Sedgy> Moon. <laughs>